Guys, they say KBAC is ready, as in he is preparing very well. As a matter of fact, they said he even announced it uh, during Olojo Festival. But it's like people, most people do not understand it when he was saying it. Although they said when he was talking about that, he diverted into parables, saying that uh, women, 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 that people that are inside the palace, that as when he was kind of referring to Queen Naomi, that Queen Naomi was in the palace, a lot of people are asking him, they want to come in. He was telling them there was no space, this and that. But the person that was in could not uh, appreciate what she has, and she left. Now the palace is filled with women. <laughs> right now, this particular information is what I want to bring to you. According to what we are hearing, they said, Kabiesi is preparing to marry two virgins. And the main reason why he wants to do that, uh, from what we are hearing, is because we all know that he married Queen Naomi, a virgin, and he presented Queen Naomi to the gods as a virgin. And that is why it is beginning to look like it's very difficult for him to undo whatever they did to set Queen Naomi free or to cut the covenant or whatever. We do know that uh, when something came pure, you have this virgin hash, she don't bump picking for you. There is no how you are going to make her to become a virgin again, you know. So right now, we are hearing that the reason why KBC wants to marry these two virgins is, is not only the two virgins, so mm -mm. they said he wants to marry as many wives as possible, but including two virgins. Then the essence of the virgin is when he will do all the rituals that he will need to do on them, and he is going to present them to the gods again. But the question is, okay, according to what we are hearing, they said the moment he does that, that they are going to replace Queen Naomi with the virgin, according to what we are hearing. That is if the information is true. And I ask myself, how? How? Because we all know that she presented Queen Naomi as a virgin, and Queen Naomi also have a son for him. Is he also going to, when he replaced uh, Queen Naomi with the virgins, is he also going to replace Tadenikawa with uh, Ashley's um, crown prince? That is questionable. <laughs> the fact remains that, you see, Kabiesi, Kabiesi want to eat his cake and have it. You brought a woman in your palace. You promised him heaven on earth. You promised her heaven on earth. She agreed with you. She trusted you. Because if not for trust, there is no how someone who is not prepared for polygamy will accept a king. But because who knows what Kabiesi told Queen Naomi. And Queen Naomi accepted and trusted him. This thing is based on trust. If Kenomi did not trust him, I don't think she would have ventured into this marriage at all. Kenomi trusted Kabiesi wholeheartedly, and that is why she accepted to marry him when he told him that she is going to be his only wife. Yet, you betrayed that trust. You betrayed her. You betrayed the trust by sleeping with Ashley them, sleeping with all of these women, you know? And even to the point of giving them room to insult her, to abuse her in her matrimonial home, to do the, as in, what is it that they did not do to Queen Naomi, including her uh, Kabiesi's sisters, her own sister-in-laws that are supposed to be protecting her. They bring her out. They expose her to Yana Jedem, to Ashley them. And because Queen Naomi knows her what? Yes, Queen Naomi knows her what? She knows that she is specially made that she cannot go back on her decision over what she wants for herself. And she cannot allow a man who doesn't know exactly what he wants to push her into a life that she never planned for herself. Because this is exactly what it is. From Kabiesi's attitude right now, it is obvious that he doesn't know what he wants. Because when a man said to himself, I don't want to be a polygamist and stand by it, it simply means that he knows that he doesn't want to be a polygamist and stand by it. But when a man will tell a woman, I don't want to be a polygamist, I want to live a simple life, I don't want to women problem and all of that, and yet you could not hold your thing. Not only that, you ended up marrying six or seven wives, planning for 13 <laughs> And at the end of the day, you tell us that you know what you want for yourself. It's obvious you don't know what you want for yourself. Your case is uh, anything the day brings will take. Mm -hmm. That is it. 
And right now, this new marriage that is about to happen is based on revenge. The same mistake he did at first, that is if it is a mistake, oh, because my own is that he doesn't know what he wants for himself. When it comes to marriage, he doesn't know what he wants for himself. Anything the, the, the day brings, he will take it. And the day brings that Kwenomi left him. Instead of, even if he wants to marry, he would have at least married one. Had it been he married one, we we'll say, okay, yes, he doesn't want to be a polygamist. But he gathered six at once. When a man that said he is not a polygamist, I don't want to be a polygamist. His father is not even a polygamist. But maybe because he became a king, the thing entered his brain. <laughs> yes, so I have said this time without number. The reason why KBC could not make up with Queen Naomi and fix his marriage is because of pride. See, let me tell you that you are a king it does not mean that you cannot be humble and fix your home. A man who cannot fix his home will always uh, find wanting in uh, other aspect of the kinship and the everything. Forget the fact that we are hearing that KBSC is helping a lot of people, this and that. But there are areas where he is supposed to be doing well because he lacks that managerial skill and all of that. Those places are lacking behind if all the information we are hearing is true because I will not forget to remind you that these are all alleged information. Our analysis is based on what we are hearing on social media. Our analysis is based on alleged information that we are, we are hearing because we do not live in the palace. I do not live in the palace, okay? So based on what we are hearing about Kabiesi and Queen Naomi, Kabiesi failed Queen Naomi. And this issue of trying to create a platform of mocking Queen Naomi by saying all, all those things he said, that he married people that have something upstairs. Who among these Oloris will stand when Queen Naomi is speaking? Is, and when Queen Naomi is speaking, you will find out that he, she is making sense, more sense than any of these other Oloris. Is it a, a, a Olori Mariam? The one that cannot even speak good English. Eh? Where have you seen Igbi, Kabi Esis Yeyoluwa? Uh, speak very well and represent very well. Hmm? You married people that have something upstairs, including Igbi, the one you made your first wife. Because right now, Kenomi is saying he, she doesn't want again. And I'm sure this new set of wife is just based on, hey, Kabies, you need a good advice. Uh, seriously. Because whoever that is advising you to go and marry the virgins to come and replace Kenomi is de 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 deceiving you the more. They are adding salt to your injury because you already have injury in marriage already. They are adding more salt to it. So when I hear this issue of a KBS going to marry two extra virgins to come and replace Queen Naomi in their whatever, <clears throat> I say now, wow, Queen Naomi knows what she wants. She knows that she doesn't want polygamy. She's not a polygamist. She doesn't want to be. And she decided that she needs to live a peaceful life. And KBS even if you don't release Queen Naomi, God is bigger than whatever it is that you did with her. And I believe that at the right time, everything will be settled in her favor. They said, he who laughs last, laughs best. And my prayer for Queen Naomi is that she is going to laugh best. My prayer is, let God keep all of us alive to see the end of this story. Thanks for watching. Please share this video. I love you guys.